Going on a trip to get a new motorbike. Going on a trip to get a new motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do I get if you get a new motorbike? You've got a new car. That's Kim's Ooh, new that's car. Mine. Fancy new car. That I got myself. So I decided to go and look at new motorbikes. That's Troy. Troy the Beast. Sagan. Piss off! Come well, on, piss off! Honda I love lights. the Honda wings. So the Honda wings just for bike? Here we go! Honda! 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 No, black. No, red, white and blue. I don't know, I'll have to I decide. That's a cool one. Woo! I like that one a lot. Oh my god, it's tiny! Yeah, it's not a head light. It's a big shot, is it? Look at that. I like it. Yeah, it looks business. <laughs> I actually can't believe how small it is. Right, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go have a look at the, uh, the, the red one. Right. <laughs> I think I've made a decision and I'm gonna buy the uh, I'm gonna buy the uh, the black one I think. So let's do it, where do I sign? <laughs> I'm actually like a little kid in a sweet shop now. Just... Only if this is the best day of the year so far. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on guys? Hi, I'm Adam Ari from Beyond Educated, a channel dedicated to health, productivity and well-being. If you're new to this channel, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Um, uh, here we have information, tips and tricks on getting healthy, getting fit and improving your overall well-being. Uh, if you've not seen any of my uh, current videos on my 12 11 week cut, uh, go back and click the previous ones and find out sort of what stage I'm up to. I've got about three weeks to go and three weeks out. But actually what I wanted to talk about today was uh, noob, noob tricks. So like when you first start off and you're training, or even if you've been training for a while, things that took me a while to realize before I could actually um, start picking up things from the experience of how I was performing uh, and things to avoid and pitfalls not to fall into, if you are new to training or you've been training for a while and you're not seeing the result, let's do it. Number one, eat as much protein as possible. Protein, high protein is all you need to build muscle. When you first start training, you'll realize that protein is really important in building muscle. And it is, but what you've really got to remember is anything over like 1.2 to the recommended 1.8 grams per pound of body weight and you are eating a surplus of protein that isn't necessarily needed to build muscle. I've gone on diets where I've completely cut out carbs and I've been eating like 250 grams of protein, 300 grams of protein in some days, it's just completely unnecessary. What you've got to remember is when you're eating high volumes of protein, it's very difficult for your body to digest it, it puts a lot of stress on your liver, and as a result, you get bad skin, you get um, like bad internals, bad wind, all these kind of things. So remember, 1.2 to 1.8 grams per pound of body weight is a key amount you should need, particularly for new people starting off in order to build muscle and have the right protein in your body. Number two, you need to lift really heavy to get really big. While there is an element of truth in this that you need to put your muscles under tension, there's three key factors that play a role in building muscle. One of them is mechanical tension, which is lifting really heavy weights. One of them is metabolic stress, which is the pump that you get from doing high volumes. And one is muscle damage that comes from negative phase of your actual exercises. Now, the combination of all three of those with muscle damage being the least important is the key and optimum to get the actual muscle growth that you need. So the key point here is that you need variety within your exercises in order to build muscle. Without the variety, just lifting heavy, you're not going to get the muscle growth you need. And without the heavy weights and just lifting high volume, you're probably not going to get the pump you need. So keep your workouts varied, superset, drop set, and keep them mixed and varied as you're building, particularly after you move out of the beginner kind of newbie gains that you're going to get when you first start off doing it, and that will maximise your potential 
to do actual, uh, to get actual uh, real growth and uh, muscle development. Number three. <laughs> Cardio makes you skinny and makes you lose all your muscle. There is an element of kind of truth behind this in terms of uh, you've got to think about when you're training. Um, if you want to look like an Olympic sprinter, a Kenyan athlete, then you're going to do a lot of running. You're going to end up looking like that. If you want to look like Usain Bolt or one of the Jack's 100 meter sprinters, then that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to train like that, put your body under lots of anaerobic type uh, exercises that give you eccentric muscle growth. Um, but the key thing here really is that cardio can be used to facilitate a fat loss and weight loss diet to ensure that your energy balance, i.e. your TDE, your total daily energy expenditure, is under the amount that you're required for the day. Now, lightweight cardio or HIIT, I'm not going to go into that, but you can do cardio to add to the amount of calories that you can take in in the day so that you can ultimately um, burn more calories and burn more fat. That doesn't necessarily mean if you're eating the right diet that you're going to go catabolic and you're going to lose all your muscle. It's all about doing it in moderation. Number four, carbs are the enemy. Look, carbs get a bad rep. Carbs get one of the reasons they get a bad rep is that uh, there was a, a Dr. Atkins that released a diet. You may remember. Uh, I'm going mad. 10, 15, 20 years ago. I don't know. Um, but but um, released this diet and it was basically high protein, high fat, and a lot of people had a lot of success with it. Uh, one of the reasons they had success is the thing is with carbohydrates is, yeah, they do play a role in terms of the hormones in your body, the insulin you produce, uh, and the effect of uh, storage of energy, but not so much different to fat and proteins. They all have a, nutri a nutritional value, a calorific amount, and ultimately it's all about the energy balance. If you want to train well, you want to have an effective workout, you're going to need to have carbohydrates in your diet. Now, I'm not saying go overboard, try and keep them between perhaps, you know, uh, 1.2 to 2.5 depending on the intensity of your workouts of your actual uh, pound per body weight and if you do that you know ultimately you're going to uh, benefit from the energy of them but you're also going to be able to build more muscle because you're going to be able to train much better and so it's all about keeping that in moderation keeping it in timings and you know making sure that you've got a full balanced diet across carbohydrates fats and proteins number five is not paying enough attention to your diet I would say from some of the stuff that I've read and people have spoke to, you know, people say like it's like 70-30, like 70% nutrition, 30% gym. I'd go even higher than that. I'd say it's like 80% nutrition, 20% gym. You know, it, like the key to getting the physique you want is nutrition. The irony of it all is people think they go to the gym day in, day out, pumping weights, lifting weights. It doesn't matter. That is one hour of your day. That is the easy bit. If you can't get that right, uh, you know, you're in trouble to start off with. But the most difficult bit is the nutrition, the other 23 hours of the day. So I'm telling you guys now, from my experience, if you want to get to where you want to be, whether that's putting on size, getting cut down, your diet is going to be absolutely key and it's going to make and break you. Guys, thanks for listening. They're my key tips for you, for you newbies or more intermediates that you want to get into lifting and you want to learn some tips and tricks on how to get those results you want. Um, if you are interested in more information on this kind of stuff, check out my website, drop me a DM, uh, details in the description below. And as ever, guys, stay educated. Say again.